Hi everybody, greetings from Burundi. I just want to give you all a feedback and update on Freddy and the surgery that he had. Uh, he's gone through a hell of a time really. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, a 12 hour operation. We thought it was only gonna be four hours. Ended up being 12 hours in terms of uh, taking, uh, doing a skin graft from, from his uh, inside of his leg there onto his hand. His hand, which was a stump before, uh, hopefully is gonna get, it's being rebuilt so it'll have more movement. You can see there are 200 bits of stapling that have taken place. The, the surgeon has managed to sort of rebuild his mouth before his, he didn't have a lip down there. That's been put up there. Uh, Olivia's done a great job in tracking down a surgeon who, with the machinery who can up remove these staples. No one in Burundi can remove these 200 or so staples all across his, his chest and along his arm and even on his leg. Uh, so on this Friday he's going up to Kigali to have those removed. I mean that's, a, that's fantastic that she's been able to uh, arrange that. And then in due course he's going to need another operation uh, to continue the corrective work on his mouth to get his, his lip just right and to remove this sort of goiter type thing that's growing there. So I know that he wants an opportunity to say uh, thank you for the many of you that contributed. So everybody, me, our precious brother, Freddy. Freddy, why don't you just say a few words? I hate you so much, I personally so hopefully to help you, hopefully to help me. God bless you too and be with you for all things. Thank you very much. So first of all, thank you everybody who contributed. Freddie said himself just now, he said your award will be in heaven. And uh, so that's the first thing. Secondly, can you carry on praying for the, his journey up to Rwanda this Friday uh, and coming back that that surgery, the, the, the taking out all the staples will go smoothly and that he'll be able to handle the journey. He's tired and, and still a lot of pain through his hand. And then lastly, it's an ongoing journey. So I'm committed to seeing uh, him through the rest of his schooling. You're not gonna believe this, but I just asked how much was his annual school fees? 29 bucks a year. That's what he's paying. Um, but there's, there's other stuff, there's, there's food and lodging and that sort of thing. So anyone want to continue to be involving? To me, it's, it's an incredibly redemptive story. He's self-taught in English, he's, he's, he's gifted, and you know that's God's economy to take uh, the mess and redeem that for his glory. So. This is a man that I'm sure the Lord's going to use in the future. If you want to be involved in him and his future, then uh, carry on supporting us. God bless you. Can we end our thought?